Hi, my name is Erin with Green Ridge. We're going to continue our core work workouts today. We're going to do it a little differently. You don't need any equipment, just a mat. I'm going to set a timer and we're going to do two rounds of exercises. All right, let's get started. We're going to step touch back and forth. You can make it as wide as you would like. Make it as low as you would like. You're going to take those arms up and over. We're going to get a quick workout, a quick warm up in before we get going. Stretch it up as far as you can. You're going to take it across. Nice rotation going. Keep it going. Four, three, two. Now take it down to the bottom. You want to keep that chest up. Reach down as far as you can. Four, three, two. Take it back to the center. Keep it going. Four, three, two. Two, and one. Now you're gonna take those hands behind your head and you're gonna squat down and up. Keep that chest lifted. Keep it going. Four, three, two, and one. Now you're gonna hold it down, take those arms out to the side. Little tiny pulses, as low as you can get. Four, three, two, and one, you're gonna hold it there. You're gonna tighten up that core and you're gonna press out side to side. Reach, use that core to press right and left. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it right there. You're gonna take it down and up. Inhale, exhale. Good range of motion going. Four, three, Two, bring it back down, pulse it out one more time through. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale up and exhale. All right, so I've got a timer. We're gonna do exercises, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. We've got 10 exercises, two rounds through. All right, I'm gonna set my timer. We're gonna start with some skaters. All right, let's get going. Take it side to side. Reach down as far as you can. Now, if you need a little bit of a modification, you're gonna take the jump out. You're just gonna step it nice and wide. Keeping that chest up. Keep it going. A little bit more. All right. You got 15 seconds. In those 15 seconds, you need to keep those feet moving. Our next move, you're gonna start, you're gonna do a lateral jump and press out. Get ready. All right, let's go. Side, press it out. Now, this is gonna work that balance. You're tightening up that core. If you need, step that foot back to the floor. But try to find you a focal point. You want to press straight forward, straight back. And you'll see me wobbling as well. Keep it going. A little bit more. All right. 15 second break. We're going to take it down to the mat. We're going to do mountain climbers. So you're going to take it up into a plank. Bring those knees in. You can run it out or a slow step. Get ready. Go. Hands are right underneath those shoulders. Now, if you need a break, hold the plank or hold the plank on your knees. Keep it going. A little bit more. All right. Take it down, stretch it back. We're gonna keep it on the floor here. You're gonna turn it over. All right. We're gonna do bicycle crunches. We're gonna do a little differently though. You're gonna rotate and tap those heels and go. Now you can keep it nice and steady, or if you want, you can speed it up a little bit. But remember, we've got two rounds. So if you wanna take it a little slower first round, and then really push the second round. It's your workout. 
Keep it going. Just try not to pull in the backs of your head and neck. We've got a couple more. And we're going to sit it up. All right, a little bit of a break. We're still going to keep it on the floor. Next up, heels are on the floor. You're going to lean it back and you're going to twist it out. Get ready and go. Twist. Now, if you want to make it a little bit harder, you're going to lift those feet up. Now, if you want, add a little bit more intensity. Try to tap the floor. Inhale, exhale. Keep it going, keep it going. A little bit more. Don't forget, feet up or heels tapping down. All right. We're going to stand it back up now. All right, so we're going to take those legs nice and wide. You're going to lower down into a squat. You're going to keep it right there. Those hands are going to go out in front, and we are going to twist. You're going to keep everything nice and tight, and arms nice and straight. So when you're doing core work, it goes full body. You need that core for everything. So you don't have to just be on the floor doing crunches. Keep it going. A little bit more. All right, a little bit of a break. We're gonna keep it standing. So next up, legs wide, arms are gonna go back behind your head. You're gonna squat and we're gonna crunch side to side. Get ready and go. Down, crunch, down, crunch. Now, if you're not comfortable with those hands behind your head, you're gonna hold them up like football goal posts. Take it straight to the side. Pick up that knee if you can. Meet your knee to your elbow. Keep it going. Inhale, exhale, a little bit more. All right, back down to the floor here. This time, we're gonna do push-ups. So knees or in your toes or try both ways. But we're gonna do a push-up. You're gonna lift an arm up. Get ready and go. Down, lift. And then you're gonna do the other side. Now if you're good with your push-ups, take it up to your toes. Or mix it up. Do both ways. I feel like I've done a lot of push-ups this week, so I'm gonna keep it on my knees today. Keep it going. Almost. And stretch it back real quick. Catch your breath. All right, keep it on the floor again. You're gonna take those legs straight up, hands down right beside, or you can lift your head and shoulders. You're gonna lower one leg, the other leg, and then both. So you've got a lot of options for this. You can just do one leg at a time. Do both legs together. Keep your head and shoulders on the floor, or make it a little bit harder. Lift your head and shoulders, and keep those hands behind your head. You'll feel it in a different spot depending on where you hold your hands. All right, quick breather. We're gonna keep it down on the floor. We're gonna do two crunches and then you're gonna throw it away. So two crunches and then you can either sit it up or just crunch and go. Two crunches, throw it away. Two, straighten those arms out. If you want, sit it all the way up. Inhale, exhale, keep it going. Try to keep those feet flat on the floor, which is hard to do. Almost. All right, round one is done. You got a whole nother round to go. We're gonna start with those skaters again. So catch your breath, get you some water if you need it. You got five seconds to go. All right, get ready for those skaters and go. Back and forth, add that jump or take it out, depending on your intensity level.
getting a good cardio and core workout today. Keep it going. Inhale, exhale, keep that chest up. Don't let that back arch over. All right. Now you've got that lateral jump with the press out, left and right. Make it a little bit more wobbly as we go. A little more breath here. All right, get ready. And go. Side, press it out. Side, press. Remember, tap that toe to the floor if you need to catch yourself. But try to find your focal point. Keep it going. A little bit more. A few more seconds. You might be able to hear my timer. All right. Now, down to the mat for those mountain climbers again. Remember, if you need, hold the plank. Hold the plank on your knees or a slow step instead of that little run. And go. But hands underneath your shoulders. Keep it going. Inhale, exhale. No holding your breath. Keep it going. You got about seven seconds. And drop down, stretch your back. Keep it on the mat for that bike crunch. All right, so you're gonna tap those heels down to the floor, hands behind your head. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. Get ready and go. Keep it going, keep it going. Almost. All right. Next up, you've got that twist. So heels on the floor. You're gonna twist it out, lean it back, keeping that core nice and tight. Remember, if you wanna make it harder, lift those feet or try to tap the mat. Get ready and go. And you can try to speed it up too. Keep it going. Keep going, you got eight seconds. A little bit more. All right, we're gonna stand it up. Remember, anytime you need water, grab you some water. Now, legs are gonna go wide, you're gonna take it down into that squat. Arms are straight, hands together. You're gonna take it side to side. Keep that core as tight as you can. Keep it going. Make sure you're turning those legs with those arms. Almost. All right, a little bit of a break. We're gonna keep it standing. Next up, those legs are still wide. Hands behind your head. Squat, crunch to the side. Now remember if you need, arms out like a football goal post. Get ready and go. Down, crunch. Inhale down, exhale out as you crunch. Try to take it straight to the side. Don't tip forward. Keep it going. Keep it going, a little bit more. Last one. All right, take it down to the floor for those push-ups. Knees or toes, push up, lift your arm. Alternate, right and left, get ready. 
down, lift. Remember your modifications. Keep it on your knees. Just do the push-up. Don't lift the arms. If you want to make it harder, regular push-up on your toes. Keep it going. Almost. And stretch it back. All right, guys, on our last two exercises, flip it on over. Legs are up, hands down right beside. Right leg, left leg, then both legs together. All right, and go. Down, and down, and both. So I'm gonna push myself this last few, and I'm gonna keep my head and my shoulders up. Keep those feet flexed too. Keep it going. Last one. All right, sit it up real quick, catch your breath. Last exercise, two crunches, and then throw it away, straight arms. You can either crunch up on that last one or do a sit up. All right, let's go. Two crunches, throw it away. Two, and throw. You can either crunch it on that last one, or sit it up. Keep it going. This is your last exercise. Keep it going. All right, now I'm gonna turn, there it goes, turns off. All right, you're gonna lay it back down. You're gonna pull in the knee closest to your television. You're gonna roll that ankle around, both directions. You're gonna lift that leg up, pull in the back of that hamstring a little bit and just point and flex your toes. And you're gonna drop that leg, pick up the other one, bring that knee in, roll that ankle around, both directions. Lift that leg up, pull in the back a little bit, point and flex. Get the back of that leg stretched out. Last one, now pull both knees in, give them a hug. Rock it left to right. All right, we're gonna roll it up. You're gonna slowly stand it up. All right, you're gonna face your TV there. Legs are gonna be a little bit wider. You're gonna inhale up and exhale again. You're gonna hold those arms up. You're gonna lower them down nice and wide. Get that back stretched out. Bring those hands together in front. You're just gonna push it away. Get that back arched. Take those hands around to the back, stretch it out the opposite direction. I don't know about you all, but I've worked up a sweat. All right, drop those arms, roll those shoulders back. And you're just gonna rotate and twist. We've got a few more, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna take a couple deep breaths. Inhale and exhale again. All right, we're gonna do one more, one great big one. Inhale and exhale. Y'all are done. <laughs>